What's up? So this video is going to be about the Migos versus Bone Thugs and Harmony. And I was tripping because this is actually taking a life of its own. So there's been some words exchanged. And then, you know what? I call this the typical black on black crime, which is senseless and useless. The two different eras, and you can't compare. The Migos are hot and happening, just like Drake is hot and happening during the era with streaming and likes and stuff or manipulating actual sales. It's kind of like when I watch the NBA, it's hard when, when somebody comes up to you and says, oh, well, so-and-so is great as somebody. No, it's not because you got the three-point line, you get Euro stepping, you got zone, you don't get the hand check, so there's different rules apply. So what are we what are you basing your so-called argument for greatness on? Now, if you asking me who I roll with out the Migos and Bone Thugs, well, of course I'm gonna say Bone Thugs and Harmony, because you know, remember them cats <laughs> back in the day, but also they made better music. I mean, let's be realistic. Uh aside from bad and bougie by Migos, what else do they have that I call a money track? Bone Thugs, first of the month, still gets popped off. And like matter of fact, that's almost like psychological because first of the month comes up, you can almost hear that song in your sleep. The Crossroads, give me a break. That song was, I mean, and the fact is that they brought in a way of the sing song with the rapping and the harmony. They made that thing mainstream live. So, but, you know, BTH, you know, Easy e struck payday with them, I mean, in a real way. Um, they got cuts. They have impact, you know. And I think they were they had better cadence and they were more rounded as far as artistry go. The Migos thing is more of about sound. They've been hot, you know. But to sit there and call yourself the greatest band ever, group ever, is an is an is an insult on so many levels. Because it's like you can only speak for your ear. And let's be realistic about one thing about hip hop: you're only talking about your era. You can't sit there because how many acts do you know in hip hop that have had a career that lasts decades? Like I can say LL Cool J. I can say Jay-Z. I can say Snoop. And I can say Nas. You know, but they when I, I mentioned those cats in particular because they could come up with a record right now. And they could still probably do 100,000 or more. They got the cred, they got the credibility, they got the, you know, but there's only a handful that can do that. Ain't a lot. They're, you know, they're not a lot. You know, you still got acts like Scarface and Too Short who can still put out albums and stuff, and Rock Kim could too. You know, Karis One could Ice Cube can still put out a rucker. You could throw Will Smith in there too. Now, is it gonna be credible and respected and all the other caveats that come along with it? I don't know. But you see, you have to be careful when you say that, especially in hip hop. Hip hop is like comedy because it really reflects the time and era for what you can, what you know. See, the Migos was wrong to to generalize that we're the girl. You can think what you want for your era, but if you grow, like for instance, if you was bumping Outkast, let's be realistic. They couldn't. The, the Migos couldn't carry. When Three Stacks was rocking the perm, they couldn't carry his his perm comb, his hot comb. Okay, let's just be called like it is. Zalcast had the music, the production, the sound, the flow. They're missed, you know. And I always say that on the Three Stacks, Andre and Big Boy were like Shaq and Kobe. It's like man, and they, they won, but you wanted more, <laughs> you know. But that's another story. But anyway, let's just stick to this. Bone Thugs and Harmony. Flip the script with the sing song and the whole vibe. And I mean, you'll still have people playing their songs 10 years, 20 years from now. I don't see a lot with the Migos thing, you know, besides it being happening right now. I don't see a lot of it getting a lot of, oh, we're going to be bumping this thing and that this thing is going to be. No, I don't I don't get that kind of vibe of they, what they do. Mm -mm. Not at all. But again, I can respect their hotness for what they are now. Like, I'm not big on Drake, but I can respect what he's doing now. Until some turkey comes up to me and says, you know, was Drake as great as Tupac? Or was he as great as Biggie? Or was he as great as Ice Cube in his peak and his prime? Or LL, or Karras One, or Chuck D, or those guys. Or, oh, was he, you know, I, I say, look, <laughs> I tell you this about Drake. I can, you can compare anything. I, like, I tell you like this, with Drake, 
be any more deeper than PM Dawn because of that styling with Prince B and them did with that styling. I don't think so. But different era has different ears and different tastes. Again, you have to respect them all because they have their place. It's like if I'm talking about basketball, for instance, the Golden State Warriors, they're one of the best teams I've ever seen. But could they, if you go back in time, could they beat the L.A. Lakers or the Celtics in the 80s with that style of Jordan and Pippen and the Bulls or Shaq and Kobe and the Lakers? If you're going by that style, depends on what style we're talking about. So this whole thing with streaming and downloading and, and you know, all and, and, and um, the whole social media likes and the whole ringtones and all that has changed the landscape. So it's not fair to compare because you're going to have your side, they side, and then the side you don't see on the side. But if I'm picking... It's not even up for discussion. Bone Thugs and Harmony had more impact as far as like better songs and the albums. You know, they had an impact. I mean, come on now. Easy E, who's one of the forefathers of hip hop, boutique label, running a business, never struck less than platinum with his acts. You know, believe that NWA, Dr. Dre, Q. Look at all that spring off action. Michelle Lay, you know, and Bone Thugs. They held it on. I mean, they, they, you know, so it's not, but I'm just talking about my personal opinion as far as who I prefer out the two. But I will say the Migos have been hot and happening as far as their sound, because their sound has been hot and happening. However, asking me what I prefer, because I'm going not only basing on an era that I, you know, that I have listened to it, but it's not just because it was fresh. It's just them songs hold up. See, I'm a song dude. I always say it's about the money tracks. Because you can talk all the yang and all this. A lot of acts got talent, but they don't bring money tracks. Money tracks is when we're going to play five years, 10 years, 15, 20, 25. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about because you got Billboard all, the RIA is all inflated because of this. Because, see, to me, the stream game is a nice, hustle friendly face way. Of, uh, back in the day, if your record went Reynolds rap or Glad Bag, you know, you see that thing didn't that thing went brick. Nowadays they got the stream game where everybody sells a lot, they so everybody can go go, and it's very misleading and very calculating. But the industry still pimping these acts from an eight track to the starter CDs, a cassette CD era as far as what they pay, but what they display to the to the general audience it's like well but you know you got to do like a hundred million streams just to really crack close to a meal so that's the but that's the that's the hustle they got on you so you know like whatever so anyway um i'm not buying it but anyway that comes down to preference and whatnot so the whole thing with the migos and, and bone thugs and harmony that guess you need some beef to kind of like because this whackness going on right now in the music business I guess you need something like that, but I'm just here to tell you that it's comical to me because um, you come down to your choices, but if you look at the track record, Bone Thugs got them brothers beat. Okay, that's my take on Amigos versus Bone Thugs and Harmony. Feel free to leave them comments. Hit that subscribe. I'm out. Peace.